You're listening to All Things Considered. Shrimpers return to the waters off Louisiana. It's their first season. Wherever you go, there's always a reminder of just what's happened and how important the shrimping industry is to Louisiana. And now just days old is the new shrimping season. And in theory, at least, all the shrimping docks lining this road should be buzzing with business. First stop, the signs aren't good. The conveyor belts shut down, the bustle of business from sea to shore quiet. All a far cry from our visit last year before the oil spill. Then work was at full tilt, a shrimp dock literally knocked flat by Katrina, rebuilt and thriving. Bring on a devastating oil spill and this is what you get. Uh, we've seen something we've never seen before with Hurricane Katrina, now we're going through another, another animal again. People are a little skeptical about the, you know, the quality and the safety of our product, but uh, as far as all the tests go, everything's coming out you know, negative as far as any oil. So we're just hoping that the, the public will get back in the swing of things and use our product some more. At the next dock, a few kilometers on, lorry driver Jim Smith is waiting for a boat, any boat, to come in. He's hoping to take a load of shrimp back to Biloxi in Mississippi. He knows all about waiting. He slept in his cab for two weeks when Katrina destroyed his home. But the lack of shrimp is another tough hit. Typically, you wouldn't sit here waiting for a... No, sir, not at all. I'd, I'd be loaded up and gone maybe in an hour by now. They'd have enough and then, you know, enough to come back and get another one. At Hanson Seafood, another waiting game. They would normally be handling 140,000 kilos of shrimp a day. Today, it's a meager 140. There is another reason why next to no one's fishing, they're still helping with the oil cleanup. Almost 90% the boat, the fishermen go work for BP. And um, only a handful of boat right now working for the shrimp. They're making more money with BP. Um, I think they pay anywhere from 1,500 to $3,000 a day. Well, my generation, we uh, start taking over from the parent. Well, now, I don't know how far we can go. And it's very bad. Some win, some lose. Sure enough, at the end of the road in Venice, it's oil booms, not nets, that hang aloft. The shrimp can wait till the market picks up. Round here, everyone has had to adapt. Final word to the Harbour Patrol. We used to go out and catch bad guys. Now, we go out and check oil boom. From hurricane to oil spill, once again, a return to normal life seems a very long way off. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Southern Louisiana.